men on base. Now that's third base. Justin. Stepping in now, Justin Turner, as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. One and one. Now a swing and a fly ball. And no one will get this one. Seventh inning here at the ballpark, 4 2 our score. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it two and two. That was a nasty sweeping slider right there. If he was able to just catch the corner a little bit, he would have picked up that backwards K. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's one gone. He's ready. Here's the first pitch as he lifts it in the air to right field. Gallo is there, two down. Two outs now in the San Diego seventh. And stepping in, the power hitting first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Gets ahead of him here as he got him to swing over the top of this one. And before the 0 1 pitch, he'll step out of the box and get his bearings a bit. A ball and a strike to the Padres' first baseman. A ball and two strikes. What a well executed fastball right there down and away if you're going to do any damage with that pitch you have to think up the middle the other way and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. To two balls and two strikes now. And a full count to Paul Goldschmidt three balls and two strikes. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked to count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error. As Last half of the seventh here, and that'll bring in the veteran Lead catcher, up. James Go McCann. Up. The catcher, Dylan Vitensis, will take over on the Bob mound to start man. the bottom of the seventh. Your attention, please. Now pitching for San Diego, number 68, Dylan Vitensis. Now the first pitch. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Batensis is one of those guys that just seems to be at his best under pressure. Runners in scoring position, tight game, tough hitters at the plate. That's when he's at his best. One of the keys, Matty B, to being a good reliever is being able to pitch out of trouble. Trouble that's created by the pitchers before you, or sometimes you even have some, if it's a mess that he's inherited or one that he's created for himself. This guy makes good pitches when the game's on the line. Andres Jimenez is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Big swing at the knuckle curve gets nothing but air. 0 oh and 2 now. Interested to see what the pitcher goes to now. After getting that late hack on the curveball, does he speed him up with some velocity? And there's out number two. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Nick Madrigal. He scored after knocking a single in his last at bat. A ball and no strikes. Now a slurve taken for a strike one and one. Here's the pitch. This is popped up. Goldschmidt over to his left. He handles it easily and the inning is over. Leading off the inning, it'll be Jan Gomes trying to pad their lead here before the bottom of the Anderson into foul territory. And that's going to land foul. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. And there's a base hit. So a chance to add little insurance here as the leadoff man is on to start the eight. Now that designated hitter. Standing in now, Victor Caratini. 
As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Eric Sogard will come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out. Eric Sogard. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Heading after it is Judge, but he won't get there. It falls in. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Now back. Michael Conforto. As he'll take a look at a slider here, too, in the ball game thus far. Looked like a slider, perhaps, but it missed badly, and it's 2-0. and oh. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3-0. and oh. A swing, and this one is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to stop it. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Now batting. The second baseman, Jonathan Stewart. Into the box now, Jonathan Scope. And there's a swing and a miss at an off speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. He's one for two in this one. Here's a ball swung on and lofted in the air out toward right center. In there, a base hit. He'll get it into second. And he's going to make it there. Barely as he's into second base with a double. The At the plate, David, David Peralta pops Peralta. this one up. Myers has room in foul territory, and that's the first out of the inning. So one man gone for the Friars in their half of the eighth, and with it comes Francisco Lindor to the plate. Chase Anderson gets the call as he'll pitch with one gone in the top of the eighth. Number 57. And now the first Jake. pitch. Anderson. Swing a soft liner. And he'll take this one to the back for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Stepping in next, Justin Turner. He's got one hit in four at bats. Off the plate and low here, ball one. Three runs already home here. A ball and a strike. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way, but a little unlucky there as it's hit right to him in right field for the final out of the inning. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that'll bring in Jeff McNeil. Here's the first pitch to him. Pulled toward right center field. Peralta is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Digging in will be Aaron Judge. It was an RBI sack Aaron. fly for him last time through. No balls and a strike to count. One out, nobody on. And that finds the target. Nothing in two now. Got him. And now the Toronto number four hitter, Joey Gallo. Right he went down on strikes 15. last time up. Joey. Wheels and deals. Here's the Gallo. first pitch. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right yeah. side. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. All set to start the ninth in this one. And into bat next, one of the best run here. producers in the here. land, J.D. Martinez. JD. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Anderson, a six foot one inch right hander. He throws a four seam fastball, a changeup, a cutter, a curve, and a two seam fastball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. A swing and a ground ball to third. Scooped up. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. First pitch of the AB on its way. 
Strike swinging. Timing a little off on that one. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. 1-2 is the cut fastball, but he holds back 2-2. Two two. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Wow, from 0-2 to 3-2, and, and that last pitch on 2-2 two and two wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. And he takes a big swing at that one as this one's lifted high in the air and deep out to left field. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. Now that the catcher in now Jan, Jan Gomes. Gomes. He sends it on the ground softly to the left. In time to first and there are two away. For the plate now is the designated hitter Eric Sogard singled in his last at bat. First pitch on the way. He swings and sends a bullet to right field and that's in for a base hit his second in his many trips to the plate didn't waste any time like the first pitch he saw to keep the inning going stepping in now Michael Conforto and he hits it hard to the right side reined in over to first and that retires the side bottom of the inning now and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder Will Myers now the first pitch Will Myers ready with the nothing in one pitch in there and it's 0 2 now. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. I'll tell you right now he let go of that one and he wanted to pull it back. That was a hanger bad spot over the hard to play. He's lucky. He's lucky that's getting sent back to him. Next it'll the be Jock Peterson. No hits in three Jock. tries so far. He's struck out once. Peterson. Out in front of it strike one. The 0 and 1 delivery. A swinging strike, okay, and now it's 0 and 2. Strike three called on the slurve that time, and there are two down. So stepping in is Tyler Naquin. He's hitless in three at bats to this point, and it's fouled away. The 0 1 on its way. Final strike for the Blue Jays. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Wow. A nine-out save. That's three full innings. You don't see that very often these days. It's awfully nice to have a guy in the back end of your bullpen that can pitch that kind of work. Eight to two is how this one ends today. The Padres took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Nate Valdi earns the victory on the mound. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. to the new website, theshow.com. Feel like I got hundreds of them. No, no, no love for me. The final line score.